Aluminium hydroxide Al3, is found in nature as the mineral gypsite and its three much rarer polymorphs, biorite, doylite and nordstrandite. Closely related are aluminium oxide hydroxide Alio, and aluminium oxide Al203. These compounds together are the major components of the aluminium or bauxite. This gel crystallizes with time. Aluminium hydroxide gels can be dehydrated to form an amorphous aluminium hydroxide powder, which is readily soluble in acids. Aluminium hydroxide powder which has been heated to an elevated temperature under carefully controlled conditions is known as activated alumina and is used as a desiccant. As an adsorbent in gas purification, as a clause catalyst support for water purification, and as an adsorbent for the catalyst during the manufacture of polyethylene by the sclerotec process. Nomenclature The naming for the different forms of aluminium hydroxide is ambiguous and there is no universal standard. All four polymorphisms has a chemical composition of aluminium trihydroxide. Gypsite is also known as hydrogolite, named after the Greek words for water and clay. The first compound named hydrogolite was thought to be aluminium hydroxide, but was later found to be aluminium phosphate. Despite this, both gypsite and hydrogolite are used to refer to the same polymorphism of aluminium hydroxide, with gypsite used most commonly in the United States and hydrogolite used more often in Europe. In 1930 it was referred to as alpha alumina trihydrate to contrast it with biorite which was called beta alumina trihydrate. In 1957 a symposium on alumina nomenclature attempted to develop a universal standard, resulting in gypsite being designated gamma al3 and biorite becoming alpha al3 and nordstrandite being designated al3. Based on their crystallographic properties, a suggested nomenclature and designation is for gypsite to be alpha al3, biorite to be designated beta al3 and both nordstrandite and doylite are designated al3. Under this designation, the alpha and beta prefixes refer to hexagonal, close-packed structures and altered or dehydrated polymorphisms respectively with no differentiation between nordstrandiate and doylite. Properties Gypsite has a typical metal hydroxide structure with hydrogen bonds. It is built up of double layers of hydroxyl groups with aluminium ions occupying two-thirds of the octahedral holes between the two layers. Aluminium hydroxide is amphoteric. It dissolves in acid, forming Al6, 3 plus or its hydrolysis products. It also dissolves in strong alkali, forming Al4 minus. Polymorphism Four polymorphs of aluminium hydroxide exist, all based on the common combination of one aluminium atom and three hydroxide molecules into different crystalline arrangements that determine the appearance and properties of the compound. The four combinations are gypsite, biorite, nordstrandite, doylite. All polymorphs are composed of layers of octahedral aluminium hydroxide units with the aluminium atom in the center and the hydroxyl groups on the sides, with hydrogen bonds holding the layers together. The polymorphisms vary in how the layers stack together, with the arrangements of the molecules and layers determined by the acidity, presence of ions and the surface of the minerals the substance forms on. Under most conditions gypsite is the most chemically stable form of aluminium hydroxide. All forms of Al3 crystals are hexagonal. Production Virtually all the aluminium hydroxide used commercially is manufactured by the Bayer process which involves dissolving bauxite in sodium hydroxide at temperatures up to 270 degrees Celsius. The waste solid bauxite tailings is removed and aluminium hydroxide is precipitated from the remaining solution of sodium aluminate. This aluminium hydroxide can be converted to aluminium oxide or alumina by calcination. The residue or bauxite tailings, which is mostly iron oxide, is highly caustic due to residual sodium hydroxide. It was historically stored in lagoons. This led to the Icar alumina plant accident in 2010 in Hungary, 
where a dam burst led to the drowning of nine people. An additional 122 sought treatment for chemical burns. The mud contaminated 40 square kilometers of land and reached the Danube. While the mud was considered non-toxic due to low levels of heavy metals, it had a very high pH of 13. Uses Annual production is some 100 million tons, over 90% of which is converted to aluminium oxide that is used in the manufacture of aluminium metal. The major other uses of aluminium hydroxide is as a feedstock for the manufacture of other aluminium compounds. Specialty calcined aluminous aluminium sulfate, polyaluminium chloride, aluminium chloride, zeolites, sodium aluminate, activated alumina, aluminium nitrate, fire retardant aluminium hydroxide also finds use as a fire retardant filler for polymer applications in a similar way to magnesium hydroxide and mixtures of huntite and hydromagnesite. It decomposes at about 180 degrees Celsius, absorbing a considerable amount of heat in the process and giving off water vapor. In addition to behaving as a fire retardant, it is very effective as a smoke suppressant in a wide range of polymers, most especially in polyesters, acrylics, ethylene vinyl acetate, epoxies, PVC and rubber. Pharmaceutical under the generic name aldildrate, aluminium hydroxide is used as an antacid. Brand names include alucap, aludrox, gaviscon or pepsamar. It reacts with excess acid in the stomach, reducing the acidity of the stomach content, which may relieve the symptoms of ulcers heartburn or dyspepsia. It can however cause constipation and is therefore often used with magnesium hydroxide or magnesium carbonate, which have counterbalancing laxative effects. This compound is also used to control phosphate levels in the blood of people suffering from kidney failure. Precipitated aluminium hydroxide is included as an adjuvant in some vaccines. One of the well-known brands of aluminium hydroxide adjuvant is Alhydrogel, made by Brentag. Since it absorbs protein well, it also functions to stabilize vaccines by preventing the proteins in the vaccine from precipitating or sticking to the walls of the container during storage. Aluminium hydroxide is sometimes mistakenly called alum, which properly refers to aluminium potassium sulfate. This strongly attracts certain types of monocytes which differentiate into dendritic cells. The dendritic cells pick up the antigen, carry it to lymph nodes, and stimulate T cells and B cells. It appears to contribute to induction of a good Th2 response, so is useful for immunizing against pathogens that are blocked by antibodies. However, it has little capacity to stimulate cellular immune responses, important for protection against many pathogens, nor is it useful when the antigen is peptide-based. Potential adverse effects In the 1960s and 1970s it was speculated that aluminium was related to various neurological disorders including Alzheimer's disease. Since then, multiple epidemiological studies have found no connection between exposure to aluminium and neurological disorders.